Hello everyone. On the 22nd of March of every year, it's World Water Day. You can see me very close to a pond. Here I'm in the village, Dawakunkudu local government of Kano State. I've been here a couple of times uh, for more than I think uh, for about two years I've been coming here just to come and monitor how the place has been. This where I, I'm standing now. In the next few months, when it's rainy season, I cannot be able to stand here. This whole place is going to be covered by water. And this is like the only source of water for the people of this particular village. This is where they used to come and fish water, to bath, to drink, and do everything. They, 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 they drink along with gout, with all sorts of animals you can think of. And you can see some people around bathing also. You can see young girls and their fathers, young boys coming to fresh water here just to go home and make use of. But this shouldn't be the case, I think so. Because I live in a city, I'm a kind of a middle class person, I am a bit educated, and I know what it means to be drinking from a place like this. And I believe humans like me shouldn't be drinking from a pond like this because I can't drink from a pond like this. I don't wish, I don't pray to drink from a pond like this. I told you I've been coming here for some time. You can see it's a pond. And to me it's actually a pity that at this point in time in life people are still suffering fishing water in this kind of place. So I'm, it's a pity. And I'm happy to see I've, I've made videos, I've written articles about this particular village. We've gotten about two people who said, yes, two people who are interested in coming to build the borehole for the people of this community. Just a few days ago, I was here with a surveyor who was here to come, uh, who was here to survey the place to find ways suitable to, to make the borehole. And inshallah, in a few days' time, or a week or two, they will start doing their work. But not just this community is having this kind of problem. A lot of communities, when we look around, are suffering from this water scarcity. From water scarcity, we go to drought. From drought, of course, famine. And that's where the problem begins. This is all talking about climate change. But there's always something we can do. And I think, for me, the least I can do is tell you these stories, the stories of the people of this particular village and other places alike. And the least we can do, maybe, is to contribute money to build a borehole for them. You can come along, two of you, a group. You can come and see a community where you can build a borehole for them. I know in projects like this, trust is something that matters. So look at around. Who are those people who are already doing these kind of activities? Engage them. See what you can do. Come along, help a community, get them water to drink. In few days time is going to be Ramadan, ladies and gentlemen. And while we're there taking some chill water, chill zobo, chill ice cream, chill whatever, the people of this kind of community will be drinking from this, party, this kind of pond. And while I wouldn't like that, you wouldn't like that for any other human being. So please, on this day of World Water Day, I call upon everyone who is able to make sure they do something for the people of any community that are in dear need of water. With this I say, Happy World Water Day 2022.